All right. It's about that time, y'all. We're going to go ahead and, or I don't know about we, but I'm going to go ahead and ignore the fact that I probably should be asleep right now. And spend some time at Emerald Lake, which is one of the better spots for the folks that are of lower levels to get up higher levels because you can get some uh, different species and whatnot of fish. And uh, so we're going for walleye actually today, tonight. And I've um, got a couple setups put together that I was testing out earlier and they seem to do enough um, productivity to make it worthwhile. So we'll go ahead and travel. I'm not going to worry about two days right now. We'll just do one day. Um, the key thing is right now I'm level 25 and I want to get to level 26 quickly because that unlocks the next level of fish keeper with a much higher capacity than where I'm at currently. Right now I can hold a grand total of uh, 88 pounds worth of fish and um, I would like to get the next one because it holds 126 pounds worth of fish I believe. And so that unlocks the level 26. So I'm at level 25 and I'm probably about three quarters of the way there to level 26. Um, so that's what we're, that's what we're kind of going to try and do at the moment. Um, if at all possible, uh, I've got a couple different setups. Um, last I heard you have to have, um, I did some rearranging to my gear, so I'm trying to figure out if I need to keep on rearranging it. But I was doing some research and it went to suggest that the folks here uh, doing the Emerald Lake thing is pretty much where you want to be to get the uh, the walleyes going. So we're going to fight some sleep deprivation off and try and get to level 26 within the next well just soon I hope because it has been a day and a half for your boy and I'm tired but for the sake of these digital fish we're going to try and make it happen and um, I know they say you should do this stuff at night time in the game but I want to see what the daytime action looks like so I'm going to jump to uh, looks like 1 p.m. here just to see what happens with the uh, time situation and hang out here for a little bit and if things start sucking or don't otherwise yield results then on to the next I guess would be the best situation um, so we'll see how it goes it I did just recently as of this week, I earned enough bait coins to get the unlimited advanced license for the Emerald Lake area with the intent to use that ability to gather some credits and some experience pretty quickly, if need be. The travel cars aren't too bad, right around uh, 3,000 credits, which really isn't that big of a deal. That's It's not difficult to um, to get 3,000 credits pretty quickly if need be. So that was kind of the rationale there. Um, so now I have three advanced unlimited licenses, all with Bitcoin spending. None of which was paid for with actual currency. It was all earned through in-game achievements and leveling up. But it's, I'm starting to get the idea that you really do need to switch over to the nighttime action to get things rolling. At least with this equipment that I have. Um, if somebody wants to yield any level of uh, insight as far as if I can get away with some daytime action here I would more than 
appreciate the recommendations. Uh, but I did get a couple pieces of gear specifically for this endeavor. There's something right there. I don't even remember what I have set up on this rod. But I know I was doing the walleyes at night and I think some of the other species are available. Much more. Okay, so this is my personal record yellow perch. That's neat. I've only caught a few of those, so it won't take much to get a personal record here. But it seems like the walleye are coming out at night. And I will be jumping over to the nighttime at some point soon. I got a cooldown period from when I jumped up here to the 1 p.m. But we'll just see what we can get. Also got a float set up um, that I might try soon as well just to see what we got. There's something with some weight to it. That looks like a trophy grass pickerel. Okay, that's cool. I'll take a trophy grass pickerel. Yeah, because they got these at uh, Lone Star, but there's no trophies there. So that's my first trophy pickerel. All right, so there's obviously you can see where my experience is at. Um, so we're getting close. Which is always good. And that's where we'll be for now. I'm still trying to debate on whether or not I should move this this camera here. I'm gonna probably do it here shortly. Um, also saw that they they made kayaks available for folks uh, that just want to buy them with credits, and I think it's like thirty thousand credits. Something like that. So that might be another goal to achieve here once I get this next fish keeper. Is to start saving up credits. To get them kayaks going. Because now it's much easier to obtain them. Because you're not spending uh, real dollars. You're spending in-game credits. So that will be fun. in its own roundabout way. And I keep on seeing some action over here. But I'm not sure if that's just like things that I should, okay, I already got snagged in the reeds there. And I was kind of hoping to get into a little bit more active of a uh, room here. There's not much happening behind me. I think there's somebody else still looking at that fish. Remember, that fish, I don't see how it's still alive. My dude's just letting it hang out there. It's kind of depressing. But I do think it's interesting. They got this map and it like literally there's only two spawn points and they're like like literally a stone's throw from one another. But I guess once they added the kayaks that kind of throws in the whole dimension of saying all right well you can actually get out onto the water if you wanted to. So it's not just the two spots that are restricting you at this point but. That's neither here nor there but um, I'm also seeing here that you can get away with a lot faster reel speed. For example, right there, I'm at three. I was at level three there on the reel. Uh, do a little stop and go action and everything seems all hunky dory. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm getting my drag pulled right here. That looks like a pike. It's a chain pickerel. Sorry. Well, technically a pike. So that's another trophy chain pickerel. No, grass pickerel. Shoo. Good gosh. Okay. That's my first chain pickerel, I believe, in the game. And it happens to be a trophy one. I'm okay with that. 223 credits, 98 XP. That's approximately the same XP level that you get um, for the walleye of a similar size. 
So that's kind of neat. But see, I wasn't catching any of those during the nighttime. So maybe that's the difference. You're only getting certain things at night versus the day. So it does benefit folks to uh, experiment with both time sets, both the night and the day. So that's always an interesting little feature. Something neat to know, to live and learn. But they seem to do, um, seem to not mind this amylite colored uh, narrow spoon, quarter ounce, one aught hook. Uh, pretty much everywhere you go, if you're looking online for tips, say that if you're coming here to grab one of those, but they specify the nighttime, and it looks like the daytime's not too bad either, which is helpful. In its own roundabout way. Alright, we're hooked into something else. I think I've got 8 pound braid on here. Both of my uh, spinning setups are an eight pound braid, unless I forgot what I put on here, which is very possible. Redfin pickerel, I caught one of those earlier when I was doing nighttime stuff, so I have seen one of those before. So, so far, my research has shown me that there's three areas where you can kind of cast to and have some level of action. One is kind of like right along here, right along the right hand side. One is out here in the middle between this tree right here, that tall yellow one. There's an identical one right here, and then another one over here. So somewhere between these two far ones. And then third is pretty much straight out toward that rock formation along, uh, pretty much pull right along this vegetation. Now doing float fishing, I did uh, a fair amount of luck. Kind of all in this general area around here. Um, so the strategy I was using previously when I was here was to cycle between the main three little casting areas. If I didn't get a results within a two cast time span in one direction, I would shift off into another one. So a little indication of my lack of patience is pretty much if I do two casts without any bites or otherwise anything to in indicate that there's something there, I move on to one of the other ones and I just keep rotating through. And it seems to be pretty efficient, as much as possible at least. Some more chain pickerel. So I'm going to get a couple more with some lure action. And then I'm going to switch over to some float action. And then uh, once I hit my cooldown period, um, I'll jump out to the nighttime and see if I can start doing a little bit more productive work. So there's, was that three fish and three casts? Seems like it. That's always a good indicator of activity right there. That looks like another redfin pickerel. Trophy, actually. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um... 71 XP. That's a fair amount of credits, actually, all things considered. 121. He's still holding that fish. I don't think... I don't know if he knows what's going on over there. Or maybe there's some, uh... Some type of server issue that's preventing that from doing anything. Who knows? There's definitely some sort of dip in the topography right around that area just beyond that vegetation it looks like i know when you cast out here to the center there's definitely a, at least one major dip some type of trench that's out there and then over here to the right hand side um it's significantly uh shallower pretty much the whole way down from what i can gather um what else I noticed earlier as well, when I stand out here on this right-hand side of this dock, that when the uh, lure gets right around this area that's right out 
it's pretty much straight out from where the rod tip is. There were several times earlier where I was pretty much right there at the dock getting ready to pull the lure up. And um, I either had a strike that led to a, a fish catch or the uh, fish animation, the little avatar like jumps out of the water right there as you pull it up. And that triggered uh, probably about three or four times earlier today when I was um, here. So that was quite interesting to see how that happened. So when I stand over here, I've learned to kind of like step back a little bit further from the edge of the dock. It gives you a chance to actually hook those fish if they happen to um, activate their strike right there. Big deal breaker? Probably not. Something to know? Probably so. That's the first. So I'm still doing, like I said, that kind of like two consecutive casts to one area. No activity. I'll uh, rotate out to one of the other spots. Kind of like a clockwise thing, I guess. Well, I guess not clockwise, but more sequential. I'm um, doing, doing a lot of stop and go. Some yo-yo action. Um, at level 3 on this reel. I forget which reel it is specifically. I guess some reels, it depends. Uh, on the retrieve ratio as far as uh, what speed you want to use. But I try to, on average, keep the lure in the middle of the water column. Uh, it seems like you don't really get a lot of activity if you're kind of hovering around the bottom. Or at least I haven't had much success with that so far. So that's an observation of mine. If I slow it down, it just gets pretty much right there on the bottom. Especially once you let it go. I mean, you can pull her up there and kind of get a little bit of... A little bit uh climb in the column there. But there's that. There's a couple trenches. And it just goes straight down. And this isn't even that heavy of a lure. Alright, so we'll go back out here. Go a little bit slower again. So I can do the lift and drop. We see, you see at this point, it's not even coming off the bottom at um, speed two. Barely. So it gets within like 60 feet. Now I'm not really getting too much attention. Well, Go ahead and just contradict myself as I speak. But see, I don't know what this is. It just doesn't have much size to it. So that, that might be a limiting factor as well. But I did get my Pike Master 3 challenge. That must mean I have a bait coin waiting for me. Or maybe more than one. There's three of them. It's their number of Pike. Three bait coins. Neat. And I've got some X-Series mono. A free line, one of the cheaper things you can get, but they'll still give it to you. All right, so maybe I should just go ahead and contradict myself completely. Um, so the stop and go and the lift and drop seem to be the exact same uh, reeling behavior. The only difference is when you don't have the rod pulled up, it's a stop and go. Um, but uh, if you pull the rod up, it is considered a lift and drop. Even though technically in situations like this, the behavior of the act, well, okay, never mind. There's another bite. Um, the behavior of what the actual lure is doing is pretty much the exact same. But, that's what it is.
So I'm just going to keep doing that because I was pretty much convinced that the uh, lift and drop isn't very effective at this point, but it would appear that I am not aware of exactly how wrong that statement is. Um, another benefit to the lift and drop is because the rod is already raised. It seems to be that the way it's coded is that and when it, when something bites, um, there is no need to officially do like a, a, a hook set motion. So if you get a bite that's substantial enough, it kind of automatically hooks it. While you're doing a stop and go with the rod tip lowered, um, if you get a bite, there are occasions where you have to manually make sure you do the striking motion in order to set the hook. Just a neat little fun fact. It's not very fun. Um, let's see. So we'll go out along here. See what we got. If anything. Let it sink down there. So let's do some lift and drop over here. Just for the heck of it. Um... Because it's pretty much just right there on the bottom. Just dragging. Which you would never want to do with any lure that has like an open treble hook just sitting on the back of it. Because you will snag constantly in a real life scenario. But uh, Fish and Planet don't care. Generally speaking, or if you do snag. Uh, Angel Watch 49 wants to know what's the best rod to use here and this dude wants to stand directly in my way so that's kind of cool I don't know what is the best rod to use here I'm gonna say probably anything that can handle Test line. See, that's why I don't like that minimized activity log thing because I can't keep an eye on stuff like that. But like a bobber or a caster. Um, I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you, really. You, Lauren. Um, spin and set up. Seems to do the trick. You want some pan fish? You want some pan fish? You can. You can Telescopic setup as well. I wish my dude wasn't right in front of me, but it is a free country, so. He's doing the full on like yo yo section over here with the uh, Nevada. Thanks, my man. No worries, man. No worries, my dude. This is fucking, this is my fucking. Feeling it out as well. Maybe you find something. Still feeling. Still testing some stuff. Myself. See, man, it's not a f competition, cooperation. Oh, I really
really don't like the fact that my dude's standing right there. That's starting to get a little frustrating. I know I can turn off the thing. Which didn't cost so much. That's capitalism. Do, 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 do. I got the Mario music stuck in my head. I need to get that out of there. A sap, a sap. I've never caught a northern pike before. Neat. 12 XP. Capitalism at work. Even while digital fishing, you gotta always be careful with that political stuff. Can rub folks the wrong way. At least we're in our commies. You right. Yeah, I enjoy the activity log chat box thing. A lot of people like to minimize it. I don't know. The whole human interaction piece kind of keeps things fresh. So I go ahead and just leave it there. Might as well. We're at uh, standstill here as far as how to go about this whole section. Let me try a couple different retrieves. So if we burn in at three, so if I just straight reel, it kind of just hovers right there. I can almost make it like if I just wait for it to drop wherever I want it. I could, uh, it'll kind of just come straight through the water column right there at the uh, exact same depth. Or I can let it sink. Now sometimes when you just kill it and just stop reeling and let it sink, it'll uh, you'll get a strike right then and there. Which is a lot like, like a literal real life situation with a lot of the predatory fish. If you're mimicking an injured bait of some kind, that's kind of the whole, uh, the whole point right there. So I've switched over. I, I have this narrow spoon. It's a three quarter ounce with a three odd hook. Um, it's the glow in the dark version. So I was using this one at night simply because it's the glow in the dark version. Um, and I was doing pretty good with it earlier. And it's a little bit bigger. So the way that it's programmed is a lot of some of the bigger fish will bite the, um, the bigger lure due to the hook size. Um, so I think it's beneficial to have, you know, a little bit of a variance in what you're using in that regard. So you can kind of switch it up if need be, but I don't know if these glow in the dark ones or whatever you want to call them are as effective during the day or not. I don't really think it matters. So I'm just... This is more or less an absolute experiment at this point. But it does get a pretty good cast distance and it's heavy enough to where you can still burn it without having to worry about um, any too drastic uh, depth changes. So let me go back to the lift and drop. Now I know at Falcon Lake, if um, anybody watching this or watches this had seen that whole endeavor that I had dreamed um, the lift and drop with the narrow spoons there pretty much is all you need to do the entire time. But out of all the places thus far that 
I've traveled to in the game, that seems to be the only place where that can pretty much, that whole presentation can catch pretty much anything in the actual um, waterway. So I've got something on the line here. We've got, uh, like I said, eight pound braid, I believe. Cane pickerel, 44 XP, so we're getting close. Um, but that was again with a lift and drop. With the, uh, with the larger spoon. Pretty much lift and dropping right there off uh, the bottom. Usually you want to get three or four turns on the reel itself. And that's kind of how you can gauge your, your lift and drop. And then you can wait either like a half second or a second or two. Really don't think it matters to be honest, but it might. So let's pretend it does. Um, I don't think it's a bad idea to, to do a little, a little bit of that in between just for spontaneity purposes. Now when you get closer, I just kind of go ahead and drop it and just do a standard lift and drop. Um, stop and go rather, that's what I wanted to say, but I didn't. Uh, but I get bites and fish literally right here, so that's why I don't just reel it up and call it a day for those casts. I go ahead and get it all the way there to the end. Really would love a topo map edition DLC or otherwise. Just to see where all these depths differences are. Or at least have some type of uh, number to attach to it instead of just saying, oh, it's a little deeper there. Only got one strike slash catch on the iridescent narrow spoon. I don't know what the actual color the actual color code is. Not important. It's the green one. There's only one of them in there to my knowledge. There's a red one as well. But if you're not colorblind, you can differentiate between the two, I'm sure. Alright, uh, I think I still have a cooldown period for my nighttime action. Just to verify that. Yeah, I've got a 16 minute. So I'm going to go ahead and just let those 16 minute burns. I'm going to do... Um, I got the one on hook. I've got a bunch of crap that I wanted to just see what works let me try some flies i've uh accidentally or maybe not accidentally but i i um non-purposefully discovered that the flies are pretty versatile drop that down i think i've got a 30 inch leader right now but there's always a little bit of fish commotion here at the top of the uh the surface here so this has been a good spot for float cast in here I might jump the hook size up and see if i can't Generate a little bit more action because uh, these common shiners uh, aren't really doing it for me. I don't even know what sizes. What did I? I got some ones. Uh, I'm a two on. Let me see what happens when I put a two on there, just for the sake of it. Which, if you know what size a general normal fly is, and if you know what size a two aught hook is, you kind of see where that's a very interesting combination of uh 
the size discrepancy would be comical. Unless you got some crazy big flies, like a horse fly. That would be a different type of situation, I imagine. But at least some 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 level of activity. But see, I think I think the uh, hook size right now is a limiting factor. I could be wrong. We'll have to find out. I'm not sure what's going on here with the uh, strike situation, but I believe when you get the little nibbles, but you don't get the committed bite, it's a hook discrepancy issue. Sometimes. All the time. Because now I got nothing happening. So let's get that rectified real quick. Um, we'll go back to the one. I want to try this X series slim float. Because if it's an X series slim float, then it's got to be special, or else it would not have the X series indication. So let's just be realistic here. That's what's that's the good stuff. Look at that. That was. Horrible. Strike was done way too early. Don't ever do that. Let's wait even longer. Let's zoom in, but can't see anything because of the reflection. Alright. Amazing. Let's zoom right back out. I wonder if it took the bait. Do I need to reapply the flies? Probably. Let me do a reel in right quick just to see if anything's going to... No, wait, maybe. Nibble, perhaps. No. All right, let's see. So if the 24 drops to a 23, that means it's giggity gone. Okay, never mind. Where was some splashing? Right over here. Let's see what happens. All right, that's where there was some action on the surface. However... It seems like. Absolutely nothing is happening. Perhaps. Maybe. No. Yes. I think the flies aren't doing any action over here. Or at least not in that specific. No, there's, look at that. As I start to reel it, there's some stuff going on right over there. So now that's just, okay, there we go. So what the hell, it's dancing like crazy. I don't know, how am I supposed to know when I, it's time to pull the trigger? All right. And now it stopped. Well, that's no damn cool. Um, do a little reel in. I don't like this X series float. I'm having a hard time believing that it's any better than anything else. Look at that. They're out there jumping, just mocking me at this point. All right, so when am I supposed to strike? Because it's dancing around like a crazy ass. Like I don't, I don't understand. All right, so this is gonna spaz out. Is that how we're doing this? I don't understand how this X series float works. Okay. Now, see, bait was eaten or lost. See, I don't like that. I have an issue with that on a personal level. Let's switch that out. Um, oval? Do oval. Let's try that. Where am I at? Am I at 30? Let me get to 30. 30 inch on the leader. Caster on out. And then just hang tight. All 
Oh, man. All right, so we got bite action. But see, it's not spazzing out and dancing like a crazy ass like the X-Series is. Okay, so that's... Yeah, this whole X-Series float. I don't think that that's worth the, uh, the trouble. Common Shiner, very interesting. Very, um... Very non-interesting. So I got some crickets. I got salmonella balls. I know that's not salmonella, but I'm gonna say. Okay, let's do some small minnow. No, let's. Okay, small minnows. Bait is too heavy for bobber. It will sink. Thanks for the heads up. We can do that. Um, let's jump the hook up to a two watt, and let's bump this to fifty. And. Just cast right in this general area and see what happens. Do a little zoom in action. Now because there it's 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 live bait, it has a little swimming motion going on. So it doesn't actually sit still moving. It's I'll still it has, still has a glimmer of hope that it might actually survive. And I saw that up there. Y'all saw that too. There was a little jump action going on right over here. So that might be the next spot to cast to. I need to take note of that. But the way I've seen it work with these small minnows before, and the shiners too, you kind of cast them out, let them do their little dancing. And when the fish bite those, they don't tend to like play around. Like you, you go from nothing to to strike time pretty much instantaneously. There's no, there ain't no half ass in it. So I don't know how that's all figured it, but I wish I had the one on hook with, uh, with me instead of the two on. Ooh, there we go. So what do we got? Young Northern Pike, not very exciting, but it's there. So I saw that other boil action going on right around here. So let's go ahead and throw right on back out. I don't even remember what what line test is on this setup. I think it's mm, six or eight, probably six. I guess it'll be too late to find out. No, I think it's six. Eh, it doesn't matter. That's what drag's for. So we'll let that do its thing out there. All right, there's a strike. Not putting too much hurting on any of the setup, so it could be a shoe. Nope. Ah, oh, grass pickerel, that's... That's kind of a waste of some minnows right there. I kind of wish there was something a little bit more substantial hanging around. We'll cast on about back though and see if uh, see if his grandma's hanging around looking for a free meal. Somebody either cast it out there or a bowling ball just dropped out of an airplane because that was a big old splash. Reel some slack up. Just out there hanging out. And there's a strike. Not much going on. Weight wise. I wonder if I bump the hook up another notch if that'll change anything. And when you wonder things as such, you must find out through experimentation. So let's go to the same spot approximately. It might be even a little be a little bit further out. I didn't know this setup could cast that far. That's kind of neat. What bait are you using? Uh small minnows. Small minnows on a or look. 
Uh, what up was my leader? 40 inch leader. I think. I could have just lied. I feel bad if I did. I don't know. Something. It's one of those things. Let's zoom on in. Let's zoom on back out. Ooh, that's got a little bit of weight to it. So we bumped the hook size up, so fish size might be up as well. What is that? A young Northern Pike, personal record. We'll keep that. Um, that was right around this area. That was actually right around there, so I'm going to move it closer. Perhaps. Yeah, there's no dilly dallying around with the uh, with the minnows or the shiners when you're using those as bait. They kind of just get consumed, and then you got to be there to pull the trigger. Zooming in is really not doing anything. I'm just. Trying to make it a little bit more exciting for myself. We can pull the HUD out and then just zoom in. And you really can't see it unless it's a very dramatic change to know when it's time to pull the trigger. Especially when you zoom in and then it kicks in the reflection of those background, like cattails or whatever those are. Yeah, that's that's difficult. So you dial back your graphic settings all the way to the lowest settings and that way you don't get all those dynamic reflections. Yeah, that's that's the key right there. That is the key. Zoom on in. All right, see, that's a little bit more weight. That's pulling drag. So we'll go ahead and keep on keeping on here. Since this foot 20 foot rod just kind of rings it up like that. 43 XP for that, it's not too bad. 122 on the credit count. All right, so that works there. Um, this guy, since I spawned, has been holding that fish you can tell by the look in his eyes, he's, he's completely lost all sense of humanity and hope for the world. Um, it's kind of scary, but we'll let that go. Um, let me take this massive hike over to the only other spawn air, or standing area in the uh, map. Unless I'm not a... Does it go any further? Or is that a wrap? Let's see. Oh, so that's like basically I want to leave. That's weird. Um, what about back here? Oh, it's the same thing. Cool. So your options are stand here or stand right there or get a kayak. So earlier I was casting out. So there's the, there's the vegetation, lily pads, whatever that is. If you uh, look over here and kind of match it up with that tree there in the distance and pull it out right around even with the... Uh, with the lily pad line, you will cast to that area, and I have no clue whether or not it's effective, but it just triangulates nice with the scenery, so I do that for that purpose and that purpose only. The key is to sound like you know what you're doing and hope the rest falls into place. You use that in life as well as Fishing Planet, and things tend to work out just fine. And if they don't, you blame the devs. So we'll go into hard mode here and take off the entire HUD. Using the tilde key. And you want to look for this um, thing to basically look like it's shitting itself by falling to one way or the other. Uh, 
the problem is even though you can you can usually detect the, the bite just fine with a float set up this way when you're doing the actual uh, fish fighting trying to get it to your hand if you don't have the meters kind of showing your stuff uh, about how much money you get when the fishing stringer is full of fish hopskies what's up man welcome back um I was here earlier today and I filled the fish cabin large, which is what I have currently, that has an 88 pound max. I filled that up. I think I actually went a little bit over. It was probably 90. Um, I got 7,757 credits with a non premium account. If I had a premium account, it would have been 11,000. But filling it out here, mainly with walleye, I was doing nighttime stuff. Um, yeah, I had 7,000 uh, credits and it cost a little under little under 3,000 I think to travel here for a day so your surplus is right around 4,000 credits so it's not too bad if you know what you're doing you can fill you can fill 88 pounds up pretty quickly um, and I don't know what I'm doing and it still didn't take that too long or give or take I wasn't able to sit down at the computer and kind of dedicate time but off and on over the course of like uh, probably an hour and a half I, I was able to fill it up so what I'm actually doing now is I'm trying to get, once I get to level 26, I can get the next level keeper and I can go up to 120 something pounds. There is a trophy yellow perch. That's the first one I've caught. That is a huge yellow perch. Um, any, any yellow perch over a pound is like scary big. So a two point, uh, one, two, three, that's ridiculous. And that's 66 XP. Um, but this credit count right here for these yellow perch is pathetic. You do not want to go for yellow perch if you give a shit about credits, which most people do. Um, but I'm happy with that. I'm, that's pretty exciting, actually. So we're going to go ahead and spin him around just for the sake of physics and whatnot. So that's kind of neat. Um, so that's a two-pound trophy yellow perch on small minnows. Uh, that's a three-aught hook. And... Um, that's again, that's pretty horrible. If you were to catch a two pound walleye here, that's probably close to like 220 to 250 credits instead of 72. So keep that in mind. You do not want to focus on the, the, uh, the, you know, smaller species. If you're looking at for credits, I mean, you can, but if your only goal is to get the credits, you're going to walleye. Why the asterisk is nothing biting for me. Uh, I should probably check your, check your bite map times and warp up to the highest part of the, the peak time. Highest part of the peak. Check you. I can't, I hate reading my own stuff and seeing how much I suck at typing. Check your bite map times. Yeah, check your bite map times. That's in general. But this is, I don't know if you're still there hop skis or not, but um, I, I this t today, literally earlier today was the first time I'd ever came here and this is my second full trip. And it's only because I'm really close to 26 level and I get that next fish keeper. So, I don't know. It just depends on how you want to play it. But you can use your boats here, your kayaks. So, now that you can unlock those with 30,000 30, credits, I think it is. Sydney Fishing. Hey, man, what's up? Welcome to the um, sleep deprivation super stream of the evening. As I try to figure out what the hell's going on here at the Emerald Lake. I'll do that. Uh-oh, hold on. I'm trying to help out my dude Angel watching game. Um, go to your menu, plan now. What's my name? My name is G W uh, G W Y B underscore T E E. You can see it down there at the left hand corner in the green underneath my uh, face cam there. Um, go to your menu page. Oh shit. I'm catching something. God damn it. Why didn't somebody tell me I was losing? A oh my gosh. Whatever. Um, go to your menu page. Look at the, the map thing. Look at the map tab and you'll see the the chart thing 
has a has a curve and the times uh, under it so the higher the curve or whatever time means more chances for bites black bullet coming through yeah i'm i'm this hold on i gotta reel up y'all ain't tell me i was getting a bite so thanks for helping me lose a, a minnow by the way uh, I that's me G W Y B underscore T E E. That's your boy. I'm actually under past my bite curve. That was a pretty big bite too, so I'm a little frustrated that that kind of got away from me. But we're gonna try it again. Bite map in the map. See, look at the difference with the assistance here. I want you all to take a peek. Black bullet or black six bullet. His way of helping is press T to four time. I'm out here. I just typed a, a short paragraph on how to do it. And then um, your boy Black Bullet comes back with a bite map in the map. I just need y'all to appreciate the level of depth and, and detail I'm willing to go for folks. And uh, just, just just keep that. Just make your own conclusions. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to help, if possible. Not always possible. Try to help the folks out, you know? I'm gonna, but I'm going to blame all y'all again for that, that bite I missed a little moment ago. Definitely, I'm going to assume that that was the biggest fish in the map right there that I missed. Can't tell me otherwise. Got no way to prove it. We're going to zoom in. We're going to take a peek. We're going to watch what's happening. Except, why is my my chat window in the map in my uh, overlay is absolutely sucking right now? <laughs> like horribly. Oh my gosh! Hold on, I gotta try and fix this. All right, Sydney, you sent me a, a friend thing here. Except, except you. Accept you. Here we are. You're Alex. This is Alex. Confirm. Alex, you've been confirmed as of now. I'm going to try and figure out why my restream is absolutely having a hard time right now. Like, absolutely having a hard time. Let me see. Refresh. Now it's just, oh, maybe, who knows? All right, so you've been accepted, my dude. Uh, I'm going to jump in the room with you. Hold on, let me see. Are you able to jump in here? Oh, you just did. Okay, you're in here. All right, so Sydney's up in here. I'm going to call you Alex from now on. So we're up in here doing the damn thing. It's not too exciting, man. Don't get your hopes up. There you are. Oh, now you're looking yourself. Look at that nice jacket, my dude. River Tex. Sport. Nice facial hair. I'm a fan of facial hair myself. My dude. Now you're just looking at yourself. Hey. What's up? <laughs> I would say... I would say you're, you're approaching a new level of fame here, but I'm sure that's not the case. I don't have a viewership as such, but... It is what it ain't. Oh, there's a bite. Not much to it, though. Alright, I think there's trophy size uh, crappy uh, in here. So, maybe that's... 
Something that could happen soon. Yeah, it's really, really gonna bug me if the chat's gonna look doo doo the whole time. Do I know Jake Vegas personally? No, but I've seen some of the dude's uh, videos on uh, the YouTube. Um, some of the um, tutorials and stuff. So I, I, I do know of his his um, his material to some extent. See if I can get this to not suck. Oh wow, what happened there? Hold on. Let me see if I can... Wow, what is going on? My chat thing is looking completely horrendous right now. You know, this is the fun part about this whole streaming thing. Is nothing ever wants to ever work right. So if you guys ever want to get into this, don't. Just kidding. You can. Just know what you're doing. Uh, it was some fish and planet in the same lobby. Calls me Alex too. All right. Well, hey, if you're cool with Alex, then I'll call Alex. Jake Vegas. Yeah. Um. Puts up. So there's a couple people that I've I've indirectly linked up to that um do like tutorials and other things that are much more informative for people um if i had the free time and the patience to um actually sit down and do some of that i would be glad to but instead i just get on here and complain about how things don't seem to ever kind of work as well as they should so matter of style differences i understand but um for me it's sometimes easier to just kind of talk it out here live than actually produce something so, whatever works. I still really don't like the layout I got going for this thing. I'm going to jump out again and see if I can't get this to not look like butt. Yeah, it still definitely looks like butt. Gosh dang it. What's up, Buddy Jr.? Buddy Junior, hey man, what is up, Buddy Junior? Welcome to um, what we got going on up in here, which is um, up for debate in terms of um, practicality and otherwise entertainment value. But we're here at Lake Emerald. Um, myself and Sydney Fishing, aka Alex1331873. It's moving over to the catch walleye there at the dock. I will be over there shortly. I'm still trying to see if I can burn up some minnows here to get something worthwhile. Then I'm going to jump over to the nighttime and start throwing some spoons so I can get the walleyes going. Uh, Bubby Jr., my dude. So, um, what is happening? Sydney Fishing and Bubby Jr. subscribe. Guys, I just saw that. Thank you so much for that. Let me move that damn thing over so you can actually see what's going on. Boom, shakalaka. That just happened. And they fade away as I'm trying to move them. Great. No, I appreciate you guys coming through. Um... Yeah, man, uh, we're hanging out uh, at Lake Emerald or Emerald Lake, depending on how you want to pronounce it, either correctly or not correctly. And uh, my light source is now dying. Look at this. In the matter of five minutes, I've had several production issues. And I think I can resolve the light issue quickly if this reaches over as far as I think it will. I've got this LED light thing set up. Hold oh, god damn it, and I'm missing a bite. Shit. Okay. Alright, we got this one saved. Look at that. We're multitasking in the worst way possible. Um, grass pickerel. Alright, so hold on. I gotta get my light set up thing. I got this light that attaches to um, my desk here in a very pe peculiar manner. And it runs off of a rechargeable battery. And I need to charge it. So excuse me while I try to... Alright. So that will probably work absolutely horrible. Hey. I think it just kicked up a notch. Can you see me better? I think you can. That may or may not be a good thing. But that, yeah, that hurts my eyes. So I hope you can see me. Um... 
kind of upset that nothing is is baiting. Uh, Angel Watch, forty nine. Um, let me see if we can get a. Uh, what, what are you using? All right, we gotta help out Angel Watch forty nine, everybody. We'll see what we got and what he's using here. I give you a tip: change the time to twenty-two hundred. What the hell is that? Ten p.m. No big wall line. Come stand where I am. Military time. Is that ten p.m.? Yeah, twenty-two hundred. Ten p.m. Yeah. All right. Mental mass. Always fun. I've got my last small minnows, and I'm gonna start walleye over there. I just wanted to get some of this worked out of my system. I'm not gonna be it. Well, I guess it just depends on how you want to work it. Cause I I got the uh, fish cabin large, which goes up to 88 pounds. Small minnows with hook two, and you will get good walleye. But yeah, it is 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah. All right. See, I can count sometimes, not always. Every now and again. I got a calculator nearby at all times just in case somebody wants to drop a mass equation on me for no reason. Which can always happen. Ooh, there's a bite. Not much to it though, so I pretty much wasted all my minnows. What is this? Grass pickerel. 21 XP. I'm almost to level 26, which makes me happy, everybody. So I'm going to switch over. What does my forecast look like for... Okay, so it does that little dip in the middle thing going on. Um, so let's do that. Let's jump to the time. Let's get to 9. Let's do the dark situation. Um, so I'm going to rotate between the Amalite Narrow Spoon... Wallet are more active in the rain because that weather decreased the chances of getting. Okay. Alright. But we're not, I guess we're not hanging out. So, so this YF Richard guy, he's been here since I spawned into the uh, game. And um, that fish should not be alive any longer. So hold on. Okay, so we're over here. Everybody's over here. Um, the one aunt should still work. Theoretically. Somebody tell him that. I guess I gotta tell him that. Black narrow spoon. So here's a question for you, Alex. What kind of retrieve are you doing? Because I was doing this, uh, like I, I get my uh, reel at level 3, and I'm either doing like a lift and drop, and just kind of letting it chill there at the bottom. Or, um... I'll just do like a full on yo yo and just have it like just go up and down, just get like a parabolic action going. And things seem to work fine both ways. I didn't see a bit an advantage lift and drop. Okay, so you're doing lift and drop. Yeah, I was doing just regular stop and go earlier. Worked a little bit. Lift and drop. Worked a little bit. 40 inch step. Um, uh, angel watch. Um, let's see what time. What time in the in the game, or what time in the what time are yet? That's a question to be asking. And. Um, 10 p.m. 22. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know. You there. Um, oh, we're screwing up Angel right now. That's my dude. I hooked into something.
We're confusing the living shit out of Angel Watch, everybody. Well, where is he cast? I don't know where to get, um, where to cast live bait out for the walleye at night. So somebody's gonna have to help me out with that recommendation. You near? You near a computer? Sweet man, double hook up. You near a computer and can get to YouTube. That's the walleye, maybe. Yeah, it two five man. live streaming right now and can help help talk talk can help there what let's swing them yo swing that fish around swing that fish around keep Well, I know you're near a computer because you're playing there, Angel Watch. See, now I sound like an idiot, which isn't too difficult. Yeah, man, we're getting some walleyes. I haven't got a sauger yet. So, if there happens to be any of those around, that would be a neat little addition to the old fish keeper. What's your YouTube stream called? Uh, search with your voice. Ooh, I wasn't even paying attention when I got hooked up. Two, three, eight, four. Ooh, the next fish is gonna get me to 26, everybody. That's pretty exciting. Or it should. It may not. I'm gonna sit here and talk about it and that did not happen. Alright, I'm gonna let my dude kinda just do his thing right there. Um me hit some uh, drop and lift or lift and drop rather right over around here I think it's shallower on this left hand side than that right hand side in fact I'm pretty sure it is with a high level of confidence no saugers for Bubby I seen a dude uh, I want to say war master here on the twitch he was here the other uh, week when I was watching and he had a uh, little kayak situation and was going to some different spots and he was locking in the sauger. I forget what he was using though, but I don't know. Apparently there's like uniques or at least I think there's unique size ones in here. Anyways, doesn't matter. I'm waiting for that next fish keeper to, uh, to really start trying to get a little bit more aggressive with what I'm looking for. Or at least that's my excuse. Damn it, let me own up to it. Do a little. So I just start burning this at three. Just full on yo yo it. Alright, there's a bite. Look at that. Neat. Get it going here. Ooh, text message. But I can't read right now. It doesn't matter. The regular trophy and unique. See, that's the thing that scares me. The uniques, man. Gotta be set up. Alright, we gotta spin the walleye. I think. He spins. They all spin. Physics. Um, I'm level 26 now, everybody. That's exciting. 81 XP gain. Cool. I've got a bait coin and 1500 credits for my troubles. I've got a Phoenix 1410 and a Bass Caster 66. Ooh, three new reels. Four new lines. 
and four new floats of all pretty much the exact same goddamn thing. One new bait, one new baits, which is not accurate grammar, and the fish fish fort XS. That's exactly what we're shooting for. The all-in-one sack, um, which is Santa's sack, and I just unlock the however you pronounce that Lake Louisiana. That's very exciting. Angel, are you in here? Is that where I can interpret as what's going on? Trophy. Oh no. My dude Alex is going in deep with the four seven trophies. Amen. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and type it in there. Alright. Yeah, the regulars, the trophies, and the unique saugers. I've only caught two unique fish in the entire game so far. Um, for what that's worth, feel free to judge me. But I do. I did get a quick bite on the narrow spoon here, over to the left hand side. That's pulling drag, and I've got a lot of line out, so that's always scary. That's what's up. You caught it with bait. What bait? I'm gonna need you to catch the next one with your bare hands. Falstaff15 just subscribed. Thank you, Falstaff15. Small minnows. All right, Alex, I need you to help out Angel Watch. I need you to tell tell where and where that's happening as I get this wall. That's pretty good. 99 XP, 291. Where are you casting out at? You gotta show my dude. Falstaff, 15. That's you. All right. All right, Falstaff. Alex133, that, that is my dude, um, Sydney Fishing here in the chat. So where are, we, where are we casting at? So where are you going? I don't know. No uniques there, Bubby? My dude, you got to go to Falcon Lake or you got to go to Mudwater. Right out here. Where's out here? I'm looking for your splash. Um, straight for the bushes right here. Do this. This is gonna get real frustrating real quick. Um, straight for the bushes. These are bushes. More right over here. This thing. Sorry, left. Um, nice spirit. Yeah, man. I didn't like it at first, but then it grew on me. Hey, what's happening? Um, more left. Okay. So, like, right in this general area? Is that what we're talking about, Alex? There. All right. So, my dude, Angel Watch, a.k.a. Uh, Falstaff. You see this little spot right here? I think we're talking in this general area. Um... Alex, you said that your leader was 250 centimeters, I believe. Is that correct? Two, 250 centimeters to inches, according to Google, because we, we work in freedom units. That's about 98 inches, so you're talking all the way? Because I, I think it goes to 99. So, okay, so he says a little bit to the left. So if you're looking right here, Senior Angel Watch, a.k.a. Falstaff, go to 99-inch leader. I don't have okay hold on hold on let me switch over to my float rig real quick rod one has no tackle that's a damn lie hold on let me get over there i don't have small minnows anymore but let me jump up to 99 all the way um i've got blood cheese salmonella balls crickets flies night crawlers and red worms i don't think any of that is actually good at all for let me just do red worms because it's one of those days. Um, I believe do you have a you had a one aught or a two aught hook, um, fall staff. So I'm gonna put on a once I switch to the rod, I have a two aught with me. Chances are if anything that'll bite a one aught will bite a two aught. So we're talking like to the there's the bushes to the left, 
let me just throw it there. I'm at 99 inches on the leader according to that. You can change the leader length using the O and the P key if you don't know that. Um, o will go down and P will go up. Number two with small minnows, are the, they are the best actually. And if I hadn't burned mine out catching grass pickerel, then I'd be able to, um, to join in. You need more bait, bro. Thanks, Bubby. I do need more bait. I have some at my home, man. But I didn't bring that much with me because I know I can put in work with the spoons with the walleye. Um, I have a whole bunch of crap. A bunch of stuff I got during the uh, Halloween thing. All like the candies and the dead stuff and the rotten stuff or whatever. All that's just chilling at the crib back at Lone Star. But I'm getting bites right now. So we're all fishing out here, I think, is, is what we're doing. And I might drop the hook down, actually, just to see if that changes anything. Probably won't, but... I'm going to catch the biggest turtle in this damn map. With these red worms. I might even try the night crawlers because the night crawlers might actually work. If you think about it. So we're going to try and see if the red worms will do anything. And I don't have patience right now, so it's going to be a very difficult wait. But we're going to zoom in. And we're going to look as nothing bites. And we're just going to be like, all right, screw it. Um, bait was too far. Fish is gone. Fish waited too long. The knights would work better. Let's do that then. If I hold the Z button, it'll pull up my stuff. Uh, I got 24 night crawlers. Let's switch those out. For some reason, he has to remove the entire rod from the equation. So let's cast out. You can even go more left because it's better. All right, we're going to go more left because it is better. And we're going to see what's happening over here. But my bobber is reluctantly not standing straight up. That's a very interesting situation. I need Viagra from a bobber here because it is absolutely not standing up straight. Does that mean I need a smaller bobber? I don't remember what that means. Or it's dragging the bottom. I'm not sure. I know you can still get bites, but it kind of looks stupid if it's just chilling like that. Yeah, that's absolutely horrible looking. You can do a, you can do a lap dance to get it. Uh-oh. I'm going to pass on that, but um, I appreciate the offer. Or if you want to swim out there. Go ahead, my dude. It's right there. Ooh, there's a bite. Ooh, it's got some weight to it. All right, let's see what we got, gentlemen. That looks like a old walleye, is it? Oh. Yes, sir. All right. Confirmed. Confirmed. Night crawler action. Dudes. Keep that. All right, so it's dragging, it's dragging ass. Let me roll it. Let me get it to 90 inches. Cast out as far as possible. That's almost as far as possible. And now it's standing. I still don't remember what size line I have on this thing. I could check, but it don't matter as long as it ain't breaking. There ain't nothing to worry about. Ooh, we got some action already again. And there's another bite. With a hookup. Not much weight on it though. Well, I stand corrected. Got something going on. A little heavier. No, just hanging out. What the hell is it? Uh, walleye man. Okay, cool. All right, three five. I'll take that. Three hundred and three credits. That's what I'm looking for. Three hundred and three credits with one hundred and three XP. I'm happy with that. 
That's 100% acceptable. My dude, are you seriously right now out in the kayak? This dude. Out here flexing in the kayak. Alright. We see you though. What? <laughs> my, my dude says, says screw the dock. Screw the pier. I'm going to get my ass out in the water. Absolutely no consideration for life and limb. Let's watch out for them icebergs. I actually think you're violating some type of law because if you're operating any type of watercraft um, after dark, you ha you're officially mandated to have some type of light of some kind. Probably. I don't know. I'm going to say that's the case. So, if the fishing planet law enforcement happened to roll up, I'm going to have to delete all evidence of this session. What do we got here? That's another walleye man. What do we got? What size is it? That's a 2977. I'll take it. 257. We filling up the keeper. Alright. So you out here. Um, Where you at? Where'd you go, man? You still here? Alright, you still here. Everybody's right here at this corner. Uh, I'm going to go out a little bit more towards the center just to see what's happening. Probably a lot of nothing right now. Maybe so. Perhaps. Or not at all. Where you all at, man? I ain't seen I ain't seen nobody but but me catch a fish in the past few minutes. Y'all messing around? Come on now. If right now I ain't doing nothing but staring at the damn thing out there. Alright, we're going to reel her in a little bit. Stop it like every 10 feet. And watch as nothing happens. Alright, let's go 10 more. I think I went too far to the left. Depends on the weather and the time. True statements. Yeah, hold on. What's going on there? It's tilting. It's tilting slowly. What the world? He's sleeping on the job. All right. Hey, man. Two, three, eight out there in the kayak. I see you. All right. Come on. There you go. Three, one, two. My dude, you doing work right now. That's what's up. So I guess we know where the uh, channel is. Because it ain't there. Strike was done too early. I'm going to have to take those chances. We still on the bottom. What about right here? Still on <laughs> Alrighty. So that's a fair amount of experimentation. How are you bringing fish in fast? Um... Well, it depends on where your drag is. Uh, so, for example, down there at the right hand end, bottom right hand corner, you probably you probably already know this. So, I'm sorry if you do, but you see like the little circle thing with the different 
uh, little bars. Um, you can go up or down. Now, of course, the lower it is, the less likely you are to break things, but the more likely it is the fish can just pull out the line. So it depends on um, it depends on your setup and how much strength you have. And I, I know you're at what level nine, so you're probably not uh, probably don't have the highest gear. But if you're working with like so at least six pound tests, probably eight or ten, um, you can get away with setting your drag up higher. In which case, you can get the fish reeled in quicker. So. You got to find the balance between this, the, the uh, strength of your line and your other equipment using the, uh, the bars, the tension bars. I don't know if you have the three separate ones or the, the single one or not. I use the three separate ones. They call, they call it the pro layout. I don't know why, but it shows you the reel, the rod, and the line itself all as a separate bar. Because I know that stock one that just has the one bar kind of combines all of them. So you can use those meters to figure out which part of your setup is is absorbing most of the um, of the of the weight. So, like for example, also your real speed, the little the uh, the little triangle things, the chevrons or whatever you want to call them, right there in the middle of the real indicator. If you scroll up, you get the four bars, and if you scroll down, you can go to the uh, negative. Like you reel out the line, so it's it's obviously when you're reeling in a fish, I think it automatically defaults it to four. Um, so you want to make sure that's all the way up as well when you're reeling it in. So let me see if I can show you an example. So if there's a fish right here supposedly about to bite this, and I'll give you an idea of what's going on with a practical example. But I say this, and it's probably not going to bite, so I'm just kind of kind of be pissing in the wind right now. Um. Which is exactly what happened. Neat. So yeah, the uh, the tension meters. Um, because the stronger the setup, the faster. So Bubby right now is 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 also coming in the chat and letting us know what's up. So basically, yeah. Um, hold on, it'll be a lot easier for me to show you if I can get this fish to bite. But I'm not fly as hell out there in the kayak, so I don't know if I have the abilities to just allow stuff like that to happen. So hold on, we gotta bear with me. Um, but those tension meters kind of tell you a lot about what's going on with your setup. Ideally, if you've got everything is strong enough to handle what you're catching, you don't have to worry about anything maxing out. But I don't recommend ever setting your drag all the way up. Unless you like to live dangerously, if, in which case that's a lifestyle preference that you've chosen for yourself, and I'm okay with it, but I don't. Um, how do you get the pro setup? Let me show you. Sorry, I was just dicking around with the um, with that fish. Go into your options, which is your, your gear thing up here at the top right hand corner. And right here, the first one, game settings, tackle load indicator. The simple is the one that has the line, rod, and reel in one, and the pro is the one that has all three separated out. The same way as what you see what's going on. So you want to you want to change it from the simple. You want to move it to the pro. Um, and then that way when you jump out, you should see everything separate out into the three sections like you see right here on the right hand side of my screen. I know it's behind the chat bar there, but you see what's going on. So when you switch over, so when you're reeling in a fish, when you've caught one, you're going to see all three of them go up. It's going to go from the blue at the bottom and up there at the very, very top is the red. Um, as you're reeling in the fish, you will see either one, two, or three of them all together go up. Generally speaking, the higher you have the level of whatever's going on, that means the more stress is being put on that component of your setup. Um, also, you'll see the percentages down here underneath the icons. That means your, your um, I don't know what the hell they call it. Not the health, it's not a health meter, but it's like the, the um, shit, I don't know what it's called. If it gets too low, you have to repair it or replace it. So the maintenance quality, whatever it's called, man. I'm put on the spot here, I don't know how to talk. Um, the higher and longer that, that tension thing is, the quicker 
It's a really weird sound going on outside. I'm scared as hell, by the way. Uh, by the way, my channel is about land-based fishing in Sydney, Australia. Alex, thank you for self-promoting. Um, that's what's up. That is what it's up. Reiki? What? That's the only Australian term I know. Um, so let me see if I can get this this fish, this fish hooked, and I'll, I'll just give you a real-life example, or if you've already got one hooked and you have already know what I'm talking about. So you can kind of tell your setup as far as what is the weakest link, because that'll be the thing that's taking the most tension or the most pressure so if your line um you need to at least keep it into the yellow so that's what bubby's telling us um if see i need a real life example but these night crawlers are fucking me up right now excuse my language this is a family program i apologize um you need more help i always need help um if you got any general tips for here, feel free. I'm feeling uh, pretty, pretty confident with. I like the spoons, man. We got a couple spoons set up. All right, the spoons that I got now, they work well enough to where I'm not complaining. At least for the walleye, which are really what's going to give you the most amount of credits per your effort here. So. I really want to just hook into. Anyways, my dude, you'll see it when you catch a, when you're when you're reeling in a fish. Just keep an eye on those tension meters, and you don't want them to get up into the red. If they get all the way up to the red, you'll see it start to like uh, it does like a little strobe action, which basically means you're about to break whatever it is if you keep reeling or whatever. So you can adjust your drag on your reel. If that line indicator, which is the one on the far left there, if that one's up in the red, you need to dial back the drag. However, if the fish is too strong and you've dialed it back to the point where it's not at risk at breaking, but you cannot actually reel the fish in because it's constantly pulling drag, you know that your line is not strong enough, at least for that size fish. If you're going for a specific size, um, that's going to be a problem for you. That either means that you have to lower your expectations for what you're trying to catch, or you just got to get stronger line. Or there, you can upgrade the reel that has like a better uh, drag setting. However, really that's not going to come into play probably until you're like right around level 15 or 20 ish um also depends on the area you're at if you're spending a lot of time at some of the lower level areas which is lone star mud water and here at emerald you're probably not at risk well maybe mud water because there's both in and catfish but here at least in like lone star especially um you can get away with some pretty small setups and still catch stuff of, you know, good size without freaking out or worrying about too many things. When it's raining here, while I love small minnows with the leader in the hunt possible. And when it is night, the best is a narrow spoon in black with hook size number seven. Um, my dude needs to shit right quick. Good luck. Or piss, I don't know. It's asterisk. I was really trying to catch something else with these damn night crawlers, but it's just not happening. Oh, gotta piss. No luck, man. You never know. Things can happen. I don't know why I was blocked. There's some very elementary uh, vulgarity things. Uh, we got this. It's my dude. I'm helping out my dude Angel Watch, aka Fall Staff. I forget what you call it. I'm still learning myself. Where we going? Hello, Alexander Dul Dulpy. Is it Dulpy? If it's not, I apologize. Greetings and welcome. We're trying to get everybody all learned up here at Emerald. And I'm going to do all this noise. I got this narrow spoon, this three quarter ounce. It's got three odd hook. Blows in the dark. And other things. Change the narrow spoon. Yeah, man. The whole live bait thing. I mean, it's better than nothing, but. The lures seem to be adequate more often than not.
And I can drop down to two speed and try the uh, try the old lift and drop. Always a fan. Oh, here we go. Hooked right into it. One speed. I, I don't have the patience for the one speed. Honestly. I wish I did. It's like watching paint dry. Alright. This fish is swimming over by your kayak. So I'm going to need you to reach over. And just grab it with your bare hand. No. Alright. He's over here. No. You're good. I've, I've reclaimed responsibility for landing this fish. What we got? See, I don't know. So I, I got an XB deduction. I think it's because this is one of the heavier action rods that I have. And I just recently found that out. If you're using heavy equipment, it kind of it pen penalizes you. You lose some XP. Which I guess makes sense. But uh, that's a little weird dynamic that they put in there. But it's a game after all. So I guess it's kind of incentive to not load up with the heaviest gear possible if you're trying to get experience. Debatable topics. Hold on. All right. I'm going to try this one speed. But holy crap. It takes forever. Oh, I see you out here in motion. All right, we back at it. Um, oh, everybody's out here at the corner now. It's the most popular corner in the game, arguably. Lift and drop, come on, lift and drop. Come on, lift and drop. All right, we're gonna go back down to uh, stop and go. Stop and go. Go and stop. Stop and go. How much y'all want to bet my dude Richard or whatever is still over here with the same fish from the two hours ago? And he is. My man got so excited. He caught that fish. He had a heart attack. It's been chilling there. That one's taking a while to sink. All right, hold on, Bubby. I just saw. Imagine you're catching a 26 pound catfish with eight pound line with a 64 max. It's hard. It is. It is exactly. I had an issue with something along those lines. Matter of fact, I don't know if any of you guys were playing during the uh, the Halloween thing that they had going on there, the uh, last week of October into November, but there was that uh, the ghost pike that they had um i started playing this game on the 8th of october 8th yeah so almost two months and um you're back my dude you've been missing a lot but you're back that's what counts um the ghost pike were at lone star and i was level 17 slash 18 at the time and i did not have that great of equipment but I wanted to catch a damn ghost pike. Um, and well, I had streamed some of the uh, issues I was having. Anyways, I was off stream and I was playing and I hooked into a bunch of them. And they were like, literally, I didn't know you could break like rods and reels in the game, but you can, you can. And I was like, I just started getting all my stuff was getting broke. Just like tore up, broke reels, broke rods and I'm scrounging going to the shop trying to buy replacement rods and reels and i'm like oh man i gotta get the heaviest duty stuff ever because these ghost pike are kicking my ass um but eventually i just kind of said f it and and use the whole like if i just if i just get something good enough i can try and just like out outweigh them you know like hook one and just kind of just sit there and just wait for it to stop fighting so there's a clip on uh the youtube page if you have time and want to look it up, 
I um I took some stuff from it was actual stream, but I cut down and just did like you know, like an edited piece and it's called Ghost Pike Redemption. It's a little clip. And it's condensed into like five or six minutes, but it the whole thing it felt like an hour technically, but it was probably like um fifteen minutes total game time, but I condensed it down. And literally I'm just sitting there just waiting for it to come back to the point where I could actually land the fish. And uh, it was very stressful because the gear I had was not set up for it. But you just wait around and get lucky. You'll be alright. It's going to storm. In the game? Is it going to storm in this server? Or I guess it depends on everybody's got a different server. Bring a coat. Hey, I can't type fast. Real life. Real life. Don't do that. Don't let it storm in real life. Time to move. Bring two. All right, I'm going to go over here and cast. I just messed that up. Amazing. Amazing. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. What I just did, don't do it. So who's catching what, man? I'm trying to fill up the cabin here. So I've got another 40, uh, 40 I can't count, 40 pounds to go. Maybe so. So I gotta buy the uh, the next thing. And for 10 casts. My dude, you're in here with the criticism. I see you though. I can take it. Alright, hooked into something. Let's see what we got. That's pulling drag at a pretty stressful rate. This better be something good. That sauger? Did I see a sauger? No. New personal record walleye. What? Look at that, gentlemen. Let me hold my fish in front of you, my dude. This is what you want to catch right here. Everything you've seen in front of you right now. Look at that. That's you. That can be you. Uh, 154 XP. But I took a deduction because of my gears. Diesel-ish. 400 credits. Ooh, hold on. I got sound I got sound bites, gentlemen. Sound bites. Trophies. Ready for this? Drake, what are we catching? Trophies. Trophies. That's right. Sound bites. That's what we use. My dude, you're all up in the you're all up in my grill. Uh. Keep it. Take notes. That's what we're using. Narrow spoon, three quarter ounce, three out hook. It's the glow in the dark one. I got five of them. If I could share them with all y'all, I would. But I can't, so I just cast them out. I think I was doing lift and drop. Mailbox. Oh, damn. I forget that whole on the other side of the world thing. You probably got real life stuff going on right now. Meanwhile, I'm, I should be sleeping, but that's not the case. I'm gonna need like three more fish that size.
Alexander's coming and trying to learn how to play this game. You're in the right spot because I still don't know myself. If you got a specific question, you can ask in between myself, uh, Bubby in the chat. Um, we got Alex1331873 is in Australia checking the mail. We've also got um, my dude AngelWatch49 uh, up in here learning the ropes. Um, a lot of learning going on right now, I think. I'm not sure. Trying to figure out this whole thing. Slowly but surely. But I think I done ran this. I'm going to switch back to the other spoon right quick. Maybe not. Look at this. This is a place of learning, my bro. This is a place of learning. This is basically school. Is what it is. Classes in session. I got this fish. Let's pull and drag. Now, if I bump my drag up, you can see it's pretty much right there in like the orange if I reel it in. Should be watching the stream. Oh, Alexander came through with the uh with the passive the microaggression. I don't even know if it's a microaggression. That is a macroaggression. This is you should be watching this stream. There's a little shiny walleye. All right, so we're gonna dial back. Actually, no, I'm just gonna switch over. So I have another setup that I'm using the uh, the narrow spoon. It's the Amolite. You got a paper. Oh snap, yo! Oh snap, my dude! What's it about? We're gonna type papers. What do you need to know? Um. We type in papers. Type it on Fishing Planet, but not. The, but don't make it. Don't make it obvious what it's about. You got to talk about like the the uh, my, the, uh, the currency, um, all the DLC issues, the monetization. Six thirteen bomber raids in World War, World War Two. Um, just pick thirteen tomatoes and bomber raids. I don't know how you could go from those two topics. I was just kidding, Alexander. It's all good. I knew you weren't being aggressive. Bomber raids. Oh, oh shit. That that paper could be the bomb then. Haha. <laughs> Bomber raids in World War Two. Oh man, I don't know anything about that. I bet Wikipedia does. I'm catching fish. All right. Shit blew up. Peeps got hurt. Uh, treaty sign. iPhone invented. World's good now. There's your paper. You're welcome. It's <laughs> You're catching jack shit. Jack right. Oh, jack shit. Oh, that procrastination, man. Um, that'll that'll that's the, that's the thing. That procra procrastination thing is a hard. That's a hard trait to shake. And you talk, and I'm talking from the perspective. I, I done. I'm over school now. I done spent my whole life basically in school and wrote so many damn papers. I don't even want to think about it right now. I done did my dues. <laughs> But I mean, if you got it like that, then you got it like that. I want to cast straight ahead. Me time, not school time. That's what's up. <laughs> That's called setting appropriate boundaries. Like, no, man. You got to reward yourself. Every 15 minutes you spend 
type in. Give yourself five to ten minutes of something else. Set up for notifications, Alexander. On them sometimes. It's no worries, man. I'm not really on here too often, to be honest, but every so often I'll jump on in and notifications will get sent out, I believe. And I'm currently dual streaming to Twitch and the YouTube at the moment, so. I think the system I use is pretty good at getting out the uh, heads up when needed. Or at least that's what I'm told. Got this. You got it seven meters away. Yeah, there. I think there's a, a fish spawn spot that's like right, like you were saying earlier, it's like right here off the dock. Because I was getting bites earlier today when I was in here before I started streaming. Like right here at the dock, literally just like hooked and then pulled straight up. So there might be a little spawn thing that they use or programmed right there off the end of the dock like you were talking about earlier. That seems to be a pretty plausible, uh, plausible theory. I just got two for two casting straight out between these two main trees. If anybody's interested in that whole thing. Two and a half pounds, 73, but 215. I like that. I like the, uh, I like the credit totals you get for these. So you're legit right here. I see you. You right here. right here garage truck came by we're getting play by plays right now it's the middle of the damn day over there ain't it or it's close to no it's not it's probably like early morning we got a lot of shit jumping in the water out here all right, here, so here's the thing I can ask you, Alex, if you're Australian, then you can help me with this. I was told that if somebody who doesn't have a natural Australian accent, such as myself, wanted to do something in order to sound as if they did have an authentic accent, if they say the words rise, up, and lights, the word rise, the word up, and then the word lights, back to back, sequentially, in a smooth, a smooth fashion, it sounds as if somebody with an Australian accent is saying the word razor blades. So I'm not going to do it. I want everybody that's hit listening to this to say the word rise, followed by the word um, up, followed by the word lights. And see if it sounds like you're saying razor blades. Report back your results. <laughs> oh. bogan. Okay. All right. <laughs> Cuz if I say it, it's like okay, hold on. Rise up lights. Rise up lights. Rise up lights. Rise up lights. Kind of like saying razor blades, rise up lights, rise up lights. I don't know. Is that what you're hearing? <laughs> I'm trying to be culturally competent. My dude, Black Bullet. Go ahead and just sit. Look at that. We're having too much fun here at the dock. So my dude's just like, you know what? I'm out. Absolutely was over it. <laughs> just. Yeah, all right. Well, have fun over there, Mr. Black Bullet, I believe. I just, I'm going to keep calling it that. Well, here's a question, everybody. Um, Bubby and Alexander specifically. How did you find, like, what did you do to find this stream? Like, what, did you specifically search, like, Fishing Planet? Or were you just clicking around? Or what is, um, 
How did you find that this existed? Is a question I have. Alex said it just came up. Like, did you go to like YouTube gaming or something and it just kind of popped up? I don't know how this works, man. I mean, I, I don't know. YouTube gaming just seems like it's it's trying really hard to do a lot all at once and it's having a hard time doing anything well. I got hooked in another one. YouTube subscription or something. Uh, watch the skate stream from you. It'll be on my homepage. Oh, so you watch the skate stream. All right. Fair enough. Okay, so I guess it kind of tracks. I guess it's the cookies thing. I just got on, Bubby just got on YouTube and it just showed up first thing. That's kind of interesting. If I don't get the notification. Okay. No, I got you. Um, that's weird. Cause I, I've been trying to figure out this whole promotion thing, but I, I don't know how, I don't know how that works. I mean, I guess it just depends on your viewing history. And, uh, I guess the subscription thing, of course, but even then, I don't know. The whole Twitch thing's not working out, though. I don't know why, because there's, like, it, it seems to be more easier, but I can't get a Twitch following for the life of me. Apparently, you have to be playing one of five games that everybody cares about in order to be, um... Recognize? I don't know. It's just a weird situation. That's a weird text message I just got. Alright, there's another. Is that three for three? Did I just go three for three? I think I did. Not sure. Two and a half. I'm coming up with less. Oh, no. About 12 pounds, and then I'm going to be full in the cabin there, gentlemen. Um. I'm gonna go cash out and go get the other fish keeper. So I will be live until I get these, this 88 knocked out. And then I will pass out completely. Hopefully. I'm waiting for a double XP weekend to come up again, because then you can bet I'm going to be here trying to get leveled up ASAP. What time is it for me? I am at 9.46 p.m. right now. I'm in Virginia, so um, it's technically not even that late, but I've been up for a long time. Any skate, skate streams coming up in the future? Yes, um, probably tomorrow. Um, probably tomorrow. I think so. Um, yeah, I'm almost done with skate three. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting some progress made. I'll probably be done with it soon. I do have some PTO that I'm burning at my job because I use or lose it by the end of the year. So I've got some days off. Um, so I'll be spending some time here, uh, trying to do the whole stream thing. Especially as we get closer to the holidays because more people are at home, especially off of school and other things. So it's possible I can get some, uh, some more stuff. Um, some more folks watching because they're not doing other things. So my dude's in New Hampshire. Are there fires in New Hampshire right now? I thought that was... Um, I know California's going kind of crazy right now. Uh oh. Well, fire can be anywhere at any time, so you can never be too careful when it comes to that kind of stuff. Hell yes, double XP will be lit. You can level up, my dude. Hey, I got the Perch Master Tooth Challenge. Does that mean I get two bait coins? Yes, I did. Perch Master Tooth, certain number of perch. So Wally's in the perch family. That's why that counts. Two bait coins. What?
Allie is effed. That is right. Fire ain't no joke. Alright, Black Bullet's catching Sauger. Somehow. Some way. I got something that doesn't seem substantial. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, there goes the drag. Coming on back. Coming on back. Coming on back. Coming on back. Have I ever played Worms? No. Worms. I don't know. I don't even know. What is Worms? Is that a PC game? Like a Steam thing I could find? Or. I played with Worms. I found them in my backyard and I just played play with them and threw them on stuff. And I probably ate some when I was younger. Who knows? I played Earthworm Jim back in the 90s on the N64. Worms is a 360, uh, 360 single player or multiplayer strategy game. I have never heard of it. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Are oh, you catching while he's right in front of you? No, I have n no. I'm not familiar. Just lost one. Don't lose them. Find them. Where's El Steam Marino? OBS Studios recording. Uh, let me look on the Steam real quick. A little bit of sidetrack. Worms. Worms. I'm seeing in worms a bunch of stuff. Let me pull over. I see Worms Revolution, Reloaded, Armageddon. There's just regular ass worms. Is this what you're talking about? It's a throw a grenade down the memory lane. No, that that seems to not be it. Is that it? There's a lot of worms going on. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. No, man, never heard of it. Until now. Let me jump back over to the uh, Steam Marino. Worms. Strategy, multiplayer, action, 2D classic. Alright, I'm going to have to bookmark that. Take a little peek -see. See what we got going on. That's everybody's homework. Go buy worms. Not in Fishing Planet, the actual game. WMD looks familiar. I'm gonna have to take a PC. All right, where are these fish at? I'm at 1 a.m. in my map. I only got six pounds to go until I've done filled up the cabin. Call me Jesus. Jesus, what's up? Wow. What's a wow? Tell me more about this wow. There's no fish in Fishing Planet? Yeah, there are. They're just, you gotta find them, man. You gotta go get them. They hiding. Bubby asks if I'm playing Fortnite. I played two matches and that was it. <laughs> yep. I played more. F the most I played in Fortnite was the main menu. That was the most gameplay I had. There's a fish. See, they exist right there. Who caught that? My dude did. That's a 3.33. Repeating. He caught the three and a third fish.
They be biting right here at the docks. We gotta be careful. He's not hacking. That's real life. That's multi-tier strategy right there. Coming together. That's what happens when a plan works. That's all that is. Oh, locked into something. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hold on. I got more sound bites for y'all. Let me get you some. Um, where are we at? Here we go. Oh. Golly, I'm going to lose it. Nope. It's going to be a big fight. You got to pull the music. So there's a little bit of sound bite action for you. Neat. That was fun. I don't know if y'all thought it was. I did. That's what counts. Um, they got on, on PC. You can play with PS4 now. So you can cross play with Fortnite. So in other words, kind of like Rocket League. You can play with other folks. Neat. So that way you can get cussed out. From two different platforms. That's what we need more of. Alright, I'm going to switch back over. So I got like one or two more fish that I catch and then I'm done with the um, filling up the cabin, y'all. Some lift and drop action. All right, I will show you how much money you get for the full cabin. This should be the last time I'm using the fish cabin, but I upgrade to the whatever the next one is. When I was playing earlier today, it was a little over seven, seven and a half thousand credits. Oh, gotta go write that paper after all. Well, if you look, I can take a peek right now if you're super interested. Um, I'm at six, seven, nine, seven. It's about one more, one more fish or two more to go. So I guess it just depends on which ones I get and how many credits there were. So I'll, I'll be right around 7,000. He's not getting lucky with the saugers. He just knows, just knows the secret, the sauger secret. So I'm assuming whatever that area is over where my dude's kayaking. That's what's up. Six thousand. My dude, are you in the stream right now? Have you heard us the entire time? No, he's not. He was responding to my dudes. How much money you will get for a full cabin? Okay, he's not. Whew. I'm about to say, everybody, we can talk shit about B Black Bullet all we want. I thought it was in the stream. Hell no, nah, we can talk shit. Everybody can do it. Just don't type it in the game chat. Ooh, hooked it right there. Okay, see, that's another one of those up close ones. 
Y'all want to uh, tetherball this next fish I catch? Oh, I got the walleye chief. The walleye chief achievement. Goal challenge thing. Is that two? That's two. Neat. And you just got your 193. All right, so you catching them. You got the 154, Bubby. Yeah, I get the. I think the 126 is the next one I'll be able to grab. I just unlocked it today, matter of fact. Doing the, um, getting my 26 level up. So that'll be... Mental math tells me about 40 more pounds worth than what I have right now. Oh, he left. What a punk. Just kidding. All right. Word, thanks for coming through. Good luck with the paper. And uh, feel free to shoot. Oh my gosh. All right, dude, are you still there? Good luck with the paper. <laughs> See you later or sooner, depending on how things go. One way or the other. I gotta get this damn last fish. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, no worries, man. Appreciate you coming through. Hopefully, learned a little bit. We laughed a little, cried a little. You know, the whole the whole range of emotions have all been experienced within the past two hours. So probably just need, like I said, one more fish, one more fish in the, in the cabin, one more fish in the cabin, which if you don't know what I'm talking about makes no sense. My dude got the 359 trophy. Put it back. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. The game knows I'm right there at the end of the... Oh, I snagged. I just caught the earth. Or don't put it back. That's fine. That's the choice you're allowed to make. My cast back in this general direction. But yeah, imagine if you're just if you're only going walleyes and you're and you're averaging around two to three pounds, then uh, you can probably expect to pull at least seven thousand credits with uh, a weight limit that I've got around 80. So if you've got more than of course more, so I don't know how to do mental math, but if you divide those, so it's a little less than a thousand credits per 10 pounds of capacity that you have. I don't know, something. Someone with a calculator, feel free. This will be my last fish unless it breaks everything I own. Oh, all right. As is customary, we got to tether ball this one. All right, let's swing him around. Swing him around. And then we enjoy the show. Let's go ahead and allow him to levitate as such. Just going to start walking around the map here. Just go ahead and excuse me. This is where I think a third person view would come in handy. Alex, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and have a uh, walleye flying through your screen in field of vision. A little bit of a distraction. Okay. 
All right, well, that was nice and unethical. Got a 292 86 XP with 252 credit total. Let's keep that. All right, so we've officially maxed out the fish cabin. Um, so let's go ahead and cash out, and that'll be a night, gentlemen. So let's see what we got. Uh, there was the answer to the question there, actually. But let's go ahead and so we're wrapping up right around 2 a.m. Um, and head out. So that's what we got. Uh, XP, I got 2,500. Credit total, 7,200. With your premium account, uh, you could get more, obviously, but if you're into that kind of thing. So, I forget the travel cost. Um, and I think I just froze the game. No, not responding. Nope, oh, there we are. All my stuff, I decided. So, I'm now... So I got three challenges done in the past two hours. We got 72.59. So let's do the Mizzy math. Let's El Calculate Reno here. If I could get it to come back around. So we've got uh, 72.59. Let me move it out of the way of the actual camera. There's right there in the screen. Um, 72.59 is the total. And if you were going to Emerald Lake, if you have a license, I bought the unlimited license, so I technically don't have to pay for the license when I go. But the travel cost for one day is twenty-three fifty. Therefore, if we subtract the twenty-three fifty, and I can't even type. God damn it! What was it? Seventy-two. Shit. Okay, it was seventy-two fifty in my mind. I can't. I don't have a uh, short-term memory, so that's a problem. So almost 5,000 credits worth of profit from that trip. Again, that's what I've already got the unlimited license, so I technically don't have to pay for the license to uh, travel to Emerald Lake. So if I, and if I wasn't talking to myself, I probably could have got that a lot quicker than what I did. So that's also something to take into consideration. But now I have the 25, uh, 25,000 credits and I just got the 26. Um, yeah, man. Thanks for coming through, Alex. I do appreciate it. Um, we should definitely do it again, if at all possible. Where is it at? Yeah, here it is. The uh, Fish Fort Extra Small, which has the 154. Wait, is that right? Yeah, 154. Okay, yeah. 154. Okay, Bubby, it's the same one you got then. 154 with the 22 pound single. Um, so I just unlocked that. So we can get rid of that one. And we can tack on um, the fish fort. So there we go. That was the goal. That was the mission. And um, I'm now on Bubby's level, which is something I strive to be at all times. So now I'm definitely there. So that's where we're at. So um, I'm not sure what the next goal will be because I've been trying to do these challenges to get those knocked out just because I do enjoy getting the free big coins it's going to take me a while to get a thousand bass total catfish god that one's kind of fun the catfish thing but it's not super exciting because you're not really using lures and people hate watching uh, float fishing as they've told me several times panfish dominator I'm actually not too far away from that all things considered perch master um, halfway there Crappy Master Saint, got that. Maniac. Uh, catch 200 fish in one day. That's that's a lot. Fart Master, almost there. Walleye Chief, halfway there. Did I ever see that one? No. Okay. So, I mean, there's some other things to do. Get more small minnows. Okay, hold on. Let's do that right now. Before I forget. That's not a common bait. Just show me all of them. Small minnows. So I get 10 for 300. I can't ball out too much right now because I just took a hit buying that, but we'll ball out a little bit. Um, let's get 30 of those. Just for the heck of it. Um, I got enough night crawlers. I don't need more of those right now. And I haven't even unlocked anything over here, so that's not going to count. 
So that's my home stuff. I got maggots, pet food, candy, bread, pig's eyes, medium cup bait, dead mice. Cool. So we're stocked up on some goodies for the next go around. All right, so that's what we got, gentlemen. Uh, appreciate y'all coming through who did, and if you didn't, then you missed out on a lot. Um, Bubby, thanks for coming through. Alexander, thanks for coming through. I'll be doing some more skates soon, hopefully, maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. So appreciate y'all's time. Feel free to come on through the next time, and we'll we'll do it all again. So take care of y'all selves. Don't do anything I want to do. And if you do, tell me how it was. Can you do that for me? I think you can. Here comes the outro.